changing out the hydraulic fluid on the clutch line of a Skoda Fabia Mark 1 2002 1.9 ATD engine. If you've recently changed out the brake fluid on the brake system then you also need to bleed out the clutch line as this is fed by the same master cylinder. Here's the pipe attached to the side of the master cylinder which feeds down to the clutch pedal and then onto the slave cylinder for the clutch Here's a closer view I'm just going to take off the intercooler pipe, give me better access to the master cylinder. You don't have to take this off, as with a pipe attached you can still get access to the master cylinder, but it's a little bit of a tight fit. It's fairly easy to take off with a pair of adjustable pipe wrenches. To get better access to the slave cylinder we need to take the air box out. There's two Phillips screws on the top to take out. Keep a hold of these as they easily drop down into the engine bay. Then hinge back the top of the cover, unhook from the two little loops and I usually stretch it up and hold it onto the top of this seal. Unclip the mass sensor wire, that just pulls out. And lift out the air filter. The box is held in place by two rubber plugs on spigots at the front and at the rear. And on the side next to the wing there's a 10 millimeter bolt so you want to undo that first keep a hold of the bolt Slip the inlet pipe off at the front, pull up on the front rubber spigot and jiggle it away free from the rear one. You'll see how it fits on when you've taken it out. Protect yourself and everything else that you're worried about, especially any paintwork. If you leave it on for a long time that is. Use the same hydraulic fluid that you changed out the braking system and for the majority of cars it's recommended to use DOT4 and I'd recommend you use some sort of pressurised system for this and I'm going to reuse my easy bleed system that uses a little bottle and it runs off the air pressure from the tyre. Fill the bottle up with fluid Make sure the top's on securely. Attach the other cap to the brake reservoir cap. Make sure that's tight. Then you want to use some sort of light to locate the bleed nipple on the slave cylinder for the clutch. Have a suitable container, preferably plastic, and a short length of plastic pipe that will fit onto the nipple end. I'm using an old jam jar which isn't ideal because it could break, so I'll have to make do. Gently pull off the rubber dust cap and be very careful because these bleed nipples are made of plastic and can easily break. Now the only spanner that I could find that would fit on was an open-ended spanner and it's 11mm on this. Break the nipple loose, don't force it. You don't want to round it off, so be gentle, but firm. Pressurise the system, no more than 20 psi. And undo the nipple until fluid comes out. You want to let out around 100 millilitres.
and then tighten it back up. Just nip it up and don't over tighten it. Then go into the car and press the clutch pedal about a dozen times from stop to stop. Then open the nipple up again and let half as much out again. About 50 millilitres. Retighten. And check its operation. And if you're happy with it, job done. Don't forget to put the rubber dust cap back on. All you've got to do now is release the pressure from the system. Take out some fluid to get to the correct level in the reservoir. which is at the upper level arrow mark printed on the side of the reservoir. Replace and tighten the cap and clean up any spilt fluid. Carefully reinstall the air box onto the spigots. Here's the space it's going into with the front vertical one being made of plastic and part of the battery box and the rear one being a metal bracket both of which you push down to locate it and you can just see at the top of the picture where the bolt goes. and secure the bolt. Seat the air filter element down. Simply push back in the MAF cable protector bracket back into the moulding on the air box. Hook in the top cover. and screw home firmly with the two Phillips screws and don't forget to slip on the inlet pipe onto the attachment on the front of the car and if you've taken the intercooler pipe off reseat that back into the groove on the housing so it's nice and secure and sealed all the way around with the clip in an accessible position that you can get it off next time hope this helped you out guys Thank you for watching. And just a short note and tribute to my late father that sadly lost his battle with prostate cancer last weekend. He was a great believer in life was for the living and I miss him terribly. Everything I find myself doing now reminds me of the wonderful moments we shared together and that I must try harder to appreciate everything that life gives. I love you dad. You will always be in my heart forever.